That was fucking cute. Oh shit. All right, real quick before I get started with episode three of The Haunting of Bly Manor, don't forget you can get the full uncut, unedited raw reactions to The Haunting of Bly Manor on my Patreon. The link will be at the top of the description, so if you want to watch the entire episode along with me, as well as get it early, definitely check it out. Otherwise, I, of course, will still be on YouTube, just heavily edited. But other than that, let's get in this episode, guys. I am so intrigued by this show. I love it. All right, here we go. Oh, a backstory. I can't tell if that's his dad or that's someone else. Even if you begged, you said we had to Oh, what the fuck? He's got an Irish accent, it sounds like. Christ, the nanny. Old pair here. Oh, okay, so he's not the dad then. Miss Dessel. I'm Peter Quinn. Oh. Yeah, so, okay, so this is her. Before. They will know this, you know. Okay. <laughs> and what about it? You have a stain on your blouse. <laughs> He warned it. Your children are what? Seven and nine? I have an inquiring mind. I ask questions of myself and of the world around me every day. And that's what I love to nurture in children. That's a dumbass question. <laughs> like, if you want to do something else, why are you doing this job? To pay the fucking bills. Oh, oh, I thought that was a picture of the mom. Oh, so that's not the mom. I also saw him yesterday. Landed a sweep and I didn't see anything. Suppose my light scared him off. Whomever he was. Lock your doors, lock your windows, and give us a call if you see him again. He's definitely a ghost though, I'm pretty sure. That makes sense that the girl in it was the other nanny, and he probably had a relationship with her. Because they were flirtatious from the beginning, or at least he was. I'll call Mr. Wingrave as well. Uh, see if he can offer any other advice. He expected to have a lot from the police if memory serves me correctly. Uh, he's probably still in touch with your superior. Oh. I like that she's looking out for her because she knows that she's scared. He definitely looked like a ghost though, and if they don't know that he died, I wonder how he died. Where are you going with that? I'm gonna do my own sweep. <laughs> I mean, I'm already the gopher, the chauffeur, and the nursemaid. If I didn't hire you, I'd be the nanny too. <laughs> so Henry's a bit of a mess then. How are they coping after all they've been through? You know, it's... She doesn't care about the weirdness. That's all. I always loved like about the first season, or I guess I don't know if it's considered a different show or the first season, but uh, I always liked about the first season was that they always like for each episode focused on one certain person. It'll be interesting to see Flora's point of view. Yeah, give the kid a lighter. Good idea. Oh my god. Miss Jessel found herself as she walked the grounds of Bly for the first time. Wishing that she might never leave. And it turned out... She didn't. She never would. Dad, I would not walk the grounds at night. Ah! Jesus. Just two lesbians being f***ing strong and brave. Hell yeah, work together. Stronger in numbers. How about we stay here tonight? Just in case. Yes, yes. A sleepover. Fun. That would be splendid. A sleepover. That would be fun. What about hmm. your mum? Oh, she's just night. She's already fast asleep. Can I have uh, No. Huh? We'll be up all night. Yes, let's stay up all night. This is all so exciting. We're going to stay up all night long and it's going to be perfectly... Huh? Thought they weren't supposed to walk around the place at night time. You're supposed to stay in your room. I'm surprised that she wants to be out. What if he's the one who's been ringing here and hanging up? Ooh. Well, I thought those were prank calls. Well... Maybe not. Right, it could could have been him. Oh, maybe he spent all the money or had second thoughts. So did he oh, use he her to that. steal from him? So he calls the house now and then, hoping she'll pick up. Which it's never her, so he she never does. He doesn't say anything, or he finds out that she killed herself and then came and he killed himself too. I'll make one of you, Miss Jessel. What's your favorite color? Hmm. I don't have a favorite. I like all the colors. Then I'll make you one with all the colors. Thank you. <laughs> you say thank you until she makes some creepy shit. No one's ever given me flowers before. And I thought they were for Miss Jessel. And now he's so dreadfully jealous. Well, we can share. Oh, he got her some too. Of course. Oh, I thought he was going to pull out another. Oh, he stands in his pocket. I thought it was behind his back with like another bouquet. So if you want someone to open a door. 
to try out different keys until you find the one that works. Then why did you give the flowers to Flora? It shows her. It shows Rebecca that he's good with kids and he's a sweet man. I'm just about done. A boot. Won't like you as smart as you are. What's well, offensive even? It's fine. Um, Miles is a sweetheart. Who is he to say that though? Like she isn't being forced to be here. You're too good for that. Too good. Too smart. I don't care if any can't see it. I can't. That's like picking the like worst part of it too. I want to be a barrister. Now you're talking. Not a solicitor. A proper barrister like Mr. Wingrave. But first, I need a pupillage. Henry is a QC and a master in trade legislation, but you knew that when you applied, didn't you? I see you, Rebecca. So they're gonna bond. I kind of. It kind of seems like he's playing her, though. Especially with the comments on, like, how to find someone's key. Growing up where I did, I'm quite simply not part of the fucking club. So... Why am I here? And I feel... Hopeful. And that doesn't happen often, not to me. I can't tell if he's being sincere or if he's playing her to get get to the to dude. I should go. I'm sorry. Because this, sure in a way, could also be really manipulative. From what they're talking about, about him, this makes me feel like he's not being sincere, but I don't know. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. Aw, they would be cute together. I ship it. Aw. Wow, Mrs. Bruce. It is too late now. Come on. Talking to relax with that. Aww. Yes, Bond. They look like Bonnie and Clyde. Yeah. If Clyde fucked Bonnie over. Oh, f So maybe that's part of why she killed herself. Holy shit. Believe me, that was the wrong kind of love. We've all been in the wrong kind of love for one reason or another. Mm, but I saw how he twisted himself into her. He f manipulated her. I don't know why so many people mix up love and possession. People do, don't they? Mix up love and possession. Yeah, they do. I don't think that should be possible. I mean, they're opposites, really. Love and ownership. Yeah, that is true, though. Oh, Look how they're looking at each other. Holy shit. Thank you. You're the coolest. <laughs> Can I just say though, the way Danny and Jamie were fucking looking at each other for so long, that is not platonic. You don't just stare into someone's eyes for that fucking long. Whose glasses are they? What the fuck? Call Jamie up there, she'll protect you. Bring her fucking rifle with her. I've got some errands to do for your uncle, so he sent me here for at least a few days. Days? That's right. <laughs> It's his gross is making up a room for me as we speak. That's fucking weird. He sent him for errands, so he's just staying there. What if he never sent him at all? This whole I'm good with kids manipulation is gross. One of the only nice bets, really. It's perfectly stunning. Oh, perfectly <laughs> Sorry, I should not have. Uh, I, I couldn't sleep. And, uh... <laughs> I hope it mirrors it, but like with her and Jamie. That'd be so cute. Aww. What the f What does that mean? I can call him and uh, stick around here just in case. No, no, really. Uh, I'd feel just awful. Oh, it's only one day. I'm sure she can use it. He wants around. to be around her a bit. Hmm. It's gone. F Once we find Flora, let's make a day of it. What do you mean, find Flora? Isn't she in her room? What the f You said your favorite color was all the colors, and Miles says if you mix all the colors in the world together, you get black. He stayed the night, you know. Well, it is fun to have him here. Maybe that's why she doesn't name the dolls or like say that they're a certain person anymore. Maybe she like dropped it in the lake or something. Oh no, she still has it. I was gonna say maybe she dropped it in the lake and then she thought Laura. she was responsible for her dying. I don't know. Oh. No, there's nothing physically wrong. That's all I can speak to, I'm afraid. I'll see myself out. 
He said, keep me posted. Tell me you called a coroner and then maybe. <laughs> no, nothing short of that would get Henry Wingrave back to fly. But she hates the lake. Mars, Wasn't she by the lake, though, when she first met her? She doesn't hate it, but pluralize. You're a little creepy motherfucker, that's all I gotta say. He's a manipulative oh, dick. Can Bitch, no, can't. She has a job. Come back to bed. Please. What the fuck? That's creepy. We should it's fine. It. We've got permission from the top. The, the children. Then I... set. I've seen to it. He gives me the fucking heebie jeebies. Open your eyes. Okay, but like there's plenty of rooms in that house that? to go in. It's yours. Henry said this was yours if you want it. He didn't. He did? Did he though? Don't feel bad. She's gonna find some picture or some shit with her in that jacket. See, so felt like that. I mean. feel it on your skin. At least once in your life, there's nothing like it. God, he's weird. Buying her presents, getting her old wine. Let me show you just how beautiful you are. Manipulative. Oh, that's when they took the picture. Excuse me. The children, Rebecca, are on the lawn yes, by themselves. Of course. of course, I'm so they're sorry. Fine. He put her in such a weird position. Literally. <laughs> this wing is off limits. I like that she doesn't believe him and she's like spooked out by him. You see, if I ever, ever find you in here again, in Charlotte's things, ever She I doesn't trust him, I love it. God, I will drag you out of this house while you're bloody air and throw you into that dirty lake. She probably lived there, right, when the parents were alive. So that's probably even more infuriating to her that they're doing that or that he's doing that. Let me try. Ew. Couldn't I give her like a finger of it? Oh no, not Jamie. There needs to be enough left for an actual cake. <laughs> Strawberry. Please, I'll be offended. Yeah, let's just get all their- Aww. I like how they flirt. He's cute. Let's just get all their fucking germs in the cake. This is what happens now when we're in the corona universe. Every time someone does anything, I'm like, oh, they have no mask on. Oh, they're spreading germs. Delicious. I say lemon. They cringe at him putting his finger in, but not at all of them oh, licking it. That's amazing. I swear, oh. I was wearing a cake's worth He's of packing. Pizza. If you're gonna flirt with him right in front of me, why would I stick for that? <laughs> if you get hungry while I'm gone, why don't you see if Owen can find something to stuff into your mouth since you're okay with that, probably? What a fing dick. You didn't want old men looking up your skirt or down your blouse, but age them down and dumb them up, and you just open up when you're told this high. Do you have any idea what you look like? What a gaslighting prick. Everyone tasted it. He clearly was flirting with the other, with Hannah. When a man asks you to put something in your mouth, he doesn't have to ask twice. He, he didn't. He, oh my god, I could beat the shit out of this friend. dude. What a You're better off without him. Peter. Oh. Well, he hung up though. Right, it's your first story time. Yeah. They do this a lot. Oh, uh, yeah. let's get this over with. <laughs> I like her. She's funny. Because once it was done, it was perfectly splendid. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> One was too silly. One was too stupid. He's a good little actor. One laughed too much. Lord went away. On a journey one day, and left the puppets at home. And just God, why does he have to make everything creepy? Soon, they forgot they had strings. Is your neighbour, Mr. McQueenie? Oh, I am so sorry, Owen. Oh, his mom died. <gasps> I am so sorry. Oh no, no, oh, that's terrible. I'm selfishly like, does this mean he's gonna stay there overnight for Hannah <laughs> in the future since his mom's dead? Hey, now they're alone. I'm so glad you stayed. I am too. Aww. Kiss. Do it. Aww.
No, bitch, do it. Come on. Oh, does she not normally stay the night? I was thinking she lived there. Who the hell knew you were gay? Aww, that was fucking cute. Oh shit. You just gonna leave her alone, bitch? What the fuck? Woo! Who is that? Is that why she has the glasses? What is that? What the fuck? Ooh. Okay. That was fucking scary. That was so good. All right, there we go. That was The Haunting of Bly Manor, episode three. This was so good. So we see these flashbacks about Rebecca and Peter and how that all came about. And we find out that, that the person in the picture is Rebecca. It was not the mom or the dad or anything. It was Rebecca. And they had taken it in that room when he gave her this fur coat. This entire time, He's manipulating her. And we find out later on that he steals from Mr. Wingrave. And that's kind of like, he kind of uses Rebecca to get to get what he wants. And then she like has to stop, I guess, because Hannah walks in and is like, you're not allowed to be here, end of story. The entire time Hannah feels like weird about Peter. And rightfully so, because he's fucking creepy. And I feel like honestly, I doubt he was ever like, even in communication with Mr. Wingrave. I feel like he had, like no permission to even be there and all of a sudden he should have showed up saying like oh he told me to come here you know and then no one questioned it apparently he ends up stealing money and then leaves and then after that rebecca kills herself so i'm wondering if it's a combination of like what he did combined with the weird shit that happens in the house i'm sure we'll see more of that and like more we'll understand more later on about that but i wonder they think that it's him that keeps calling but i really feel like he's a ghost so maybe he came back found out that she died and then killed himself as well and they just didn't know i don't know if that's him calling i mean it's like a supernatural call i don't know but he did when she when danny called and said that he hung up or someone hung up so that's different than the calls before where they just kind of stayed on the line until they hung up so it's gonna be interesting to see how that plays out and who that is that's calling as well as if peter's still alive or if that's a ghost I don't know, but it's um, it's interesting to see like the similarities that happened with Rebecca as well as with Danny. Jamie and Danny got so close this episode, oh my god. Uh, all their little moments and the way they like stared into each other's eyes was so fucking cute and I'm sitting here like, friends don't look at each other like that, they just don't do that. But then at the end when she was leaving, Danny told her, I'm really glad that you stayed. And I thought that she lived there because she's always in there even in the morning, so I don't know why she doesn't live there, but... When she told her she was glad that she stayed, she held her hand and they kind of like almost kissed. They had like a little moment and then it was kind of cute. Danny, or no, Jamie turned away to get back in the car and she was like, who would have known? And it was cute. It was kind of like a little like, damn, so you're gay. Never would have guessed that. And it was just cute and I cannot wait to see what happens. I hope they kiss in the next episode, but that was a, a big step up from just like conversations and whatnot. So I'm excited to see how that plays out. I love this episode. I feel like they just get better each time. And I cannot wait to see episode four. I think that's pretty much it. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.